y'all. My name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Today's tutorial is going to teach you how to add in a dollar sign in front of the number counter of the Divi theme. If you've been struggling with trying to figure out how to do that, I'm going to show you right now in this quick six minute tutorial. You can either add a dollar sign before a number counter or maybe even a plus sign after it. Let's go check it out right now. By default, Divi allows you to add in a percent sign, right, with just a quick little toggle. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and enable the visual builder. What they don't do, though, is they don't allow us to easily add that dollar sign or a plus sign afterward. And what I'm trying to do here is show three different stats, and this middle one needs to actually be a dollar amount because I'm talking about capital. So coming in here and clicking on the gear icon, in the elements section, of course, you can add that percentage sign, right? easily and quickly toggle over you see the percent sign added in there but I don't want this to be a percent sign I need this to be a dollar amount so there's a little bit of a workaround maybe someday Divi will add in a little toggle here to add a dollar sign or add in a plus sign until then we've got to do this little workaround super quick though click on the advanced tab while we're already here let's open up this CSS ID and classes area you're going to come to the second field here, the CSS class, and I want you to write the word or type the word dollar. D-O-L-L-A-R, dollar, and then click the check mark. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and open it up and click save. If you know Divi, that's how you do it. Now that change is actually saved live to the website. The second step to doing this is just a little bit of CSS. So this right here is the CSS code I want you to copy and paste right now. I'll put this in the tutorial step by step. All you do is come over here and grab it. This is why you had to type in the word dollar into that CSS class area. We want it to affect the percent value here, and we want to put in before the content a dollar sign. How simple is that, right? Super cool. You can put anything you want inside of this little area right here, and it will render it before our number. Love this. Okay, let's copy it on our clipboard. Here we go. You need to jump into your dashboard and you're going to go into appearance and go to customize. In this area, you want to open up the additional CSS box and go down to the last thing if you have anything at all and paste in what you had on your clipboard just then. And check this out, you guys. Look at that right there. There's that dollar sign already sitting in there. Now, this is broken down here because we're in a responsive mode, but I'm going to go ahead and publish it and we'll test it on the live site. Um, right here, let me exit the visual builder now and it's going to refresh the page and we should absolutely see it perfectly sitting there as a dollar sign number. There you go. Super easy, right? Well, what if we wanted to do one with a plus sign after the fact? This is my other website where I've got these stats running. This is built on Divi as well. You're going to use the same thing except for before. We're going to change that word to after. And we're going to change dollar to plus. Now, change the dollar sign to a plus sign. And let's grab that onto our clipboard and jump into this website. I'm going to enable the visual builder. The exact same steps, though, you guys. Super, super easy to do. Enable the builder. Come down to the module you want to add the sign to. Go into advanced. Go into classes. And we're going to say plus, right? Because that's our code. Check the box and click save. If I'm going too quickly. Just pause and rewind me. It's okay. You can do that to all three of these if you'd like. You can add in that plus sign. Let's go ahead and do it. Go here and say plus. And go here and say plus because we're always growing. And save. In that last step, we have it on our clipboard already. We're going to jump in our dashboard. We're going to go ahead and exit the visual builder, jump into our dashboard, and go to customize. Right? Appearance, customize. Appearance, customize. And of course, that area down at the very bottom, additional CSS. Go all the way down to the bottom. Enter in plus after content. Put a plus sign and click publish and let's go see if it worked. 
Let's take a look right here. I scroll down, and there's our plus signs. Worked perfectly for us. Nice, huh? So it's that super easy. I hope this helps you. I have an entire playlist here dedicated to Divi. If you're struggling through anything to do with that theme, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and like the video because every week I'm creating content just like this to help you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. All right, y'all. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank <music> you.